A DT Nearer Car. The five resets. Rewire your brain and body for less stress and more resilience. In 2007, at the heart of what was dubbed the most dangerous city in America, a doctor stood at the threshold of a patient's room in the cardiac intensive care unit. Amidst the chaos of an 80 hour work week, medical emergencies, and the relentless pace of a coveted training program, she appeared composed. But inside, she was experiencing a physical manifestation of stress so intense it mirrored the symptoms of her patients. For the doctor, this episode of dizzying palpitations and an overwhelming sense of losing control marked the beginning of a journey into unraveling the complexities of stress and its profound impact on our bodies and minds. That doctor was Harvard physician Aditi Narakar. In this blink, you'll learn how she began to understand the intimate connection between stress and the body and the transformative power of what she calls the five resets. As you embark on this journey, you'll begin to see stress as a guide toward deeper self-awareness and growth. By integrating the resets into your life, you'll learn to cope with your stress by making manageable adjustments to your lifestyle. So get ready to embrace new paradigms and embark on a transformative journey toward a better you. Stress, your body and your brain, and the five resets. When you feel stressed, have you ever felt like your body is trying to tell you something? When Narakar faced her own intense pressure and bizarre symptoms, it was stress screaming for attention. When stress sets in, it's a message from your body telling you that you're taking on too much, neglecting self-care, or sidelining emotional issues. Listening to these signals is a step toward addressing these concerns. So, when tension and worry show up, don't just push them aside. It's an opportunity to pause, reflect, and move toward better health. Tuning into, rather than out of, your stress not only helps you avert a crisis, but also lays the groundwork for a happier, healthier life. Discovering effective stress management techniques is a personal journey. It might involve exercise, mindfulness, setting boundaries, or talking to a professional. Therefore, it's a good idea to experiment to find what brings you tranquility and a sense of control. Understanding the signals from your body is the first step, but knowing how your brain processes these stress signals reveals the full picture. So what exactly happens in your brain when your stress levels hit the roof? When you're stressed, your brain abruptly shifts gears, transitioning from a calm, decision-making state to one primed for survival. Typically, your prefrontal cortex located just behind your forehead, manages day-to-day -day tasks. But under duress, your amygdala, nestled deep within your brain, takes over. This small, bean-sized region triggers the fight-or-flight response, flooding your body with stress hormones. This mechanism is ideal for evading immediate threats. But modern challenges like deadlines, conflicts, and financial pressures keep the amygdala in near constant command. The problem is that your brain can't distinguish between physical dangers and work-related stress, reacting intensely to both. Prolonged mental and emotional tension can lead to burnout, leaving you feeling depleted. Your brain is built for short-term stress management, not the prolonged strain of contemporary life. This unending alertness can exhaust you and push your stress response to the limits. Recognizing this shift is crucial. When your amygdala dominates, it's not just about feeling tense. It impacts your entire body, causing symptoms like rapid heartbeat and shallow breathing. Acknowledging these signs allows you to begin reclaiming control, seeking methods to return your brain to its calmer state governed by the prefrontal cortex. That's where the five resets come in. 
They offer strategies to navigate anxiety and pressure, involving adjustments to daily routines and stress responses that enhance resilience. These personalized changes aim to steady you and increase your capacity to cope. And the best part? You can tailor these resets to fit your life so they feel just right for you. Let's take a deeper look at each of them. The first reset. Define what matters to you. After her stroke at 58, Jeanette faced the daunting challenge of relearning to walk. This experience led her through the three zones of adapting to stress. She navigated from the fear zone, filled with uncertainty, to the learning zone, where she began to rebuild her mobility and eventually stepped into the growth zone, rediscovering her inner strength and resilience. Jeanette's experience highlights the profound impact of mindset in overcoming life's hurdles, particularly through Dr. Nirakar's first reset, get clear on what matters most. You see, Jeanette's story isn't just about physical recovery. It embodies the broader principle of growth and adaptation. It serves as a vivid example of how facing and overcoming challenges can redefine your priorities and lead you to rediscover joy and activities that resonate with your core values. In essence, Jeanette's journey through the zones of stress adaptation mirrors the process of evaluating and aligning your life with what's most meaningful for you. To embark on this journey, start by identifying your most goal. What does that mean? Define a goal for you that is motivating, objective, small, and timely. M-O-S-T. Most. This goal should inspire you, be measurable and achievable without overwhelming changes, and have a clear deadline in the near future. Write it down as a tangible reminder of your aspirations. Next, craft a plan. Visualize achieving your goal and plan backward from that point, identifying the necessary steps to get there from your current situation. This method breaks down your goal into manageable actions, making the end objective feel within reach. Finally, re-engage with past hobbies or interests that brought you joy, making time for these activities regularly. This not only brings happiness into your daily routine, but also strengthens your resilience against stress. These strategies collectively aim to steer you away from the overwhelming waves of tension and toward a life marked by growth, purpose, and joy. Through setting clear goals, planning your path, and embracing activities that bring happiness, the first reset offers a guide to navigating life's challenges with resilience. The second reset, finding serenity among chaos. Have you ever felt defeated by the constant buzz and glare of your digital life? sensing that it's somehow linked to your stress levels and fractured attention. Nicole's story illuminates this widespread issue, charting a compelling path toward tranquility amidst digital chaos. After months of grappling with stress and what she believed to be symptoms of ADHD, Nicole embarked on a transformative journey to redefine her relationship with her digital devices. Let's explore the wisdom of Dr. Nirakar's second reset, find quiet in a noisy world. A significant breakthrough came when Nicole realized she'd spent hours without checking her smartphone. This moment underscored the importance of establishing digital boundaries, a pivotal step that helped her reclaim her mental space and rediscover her ability to engage deeply with her surroundings. The intrusion of smartphones and screens goes beyond mere distraction. They're reprogramming your brain for continuous stimulation, leading to a state humorously yet aptly named popcorn brain, where concentration is constantly disrupted. Nicole's experience underlines the critical need to mute the digital noise intentionally to regain focus and peace of mind. Her journey emphasizes the adverse effects of unchecked digital consumption, especially its impact on sleep, 
a vital yet often overlooked aspect of well-being. Engaging with screens before bedtime can disrupt natural sleep patterns, increasing stress levels, and robbing you of the restorative power of deep sleep. To tackle this challenge and follow a path akin to Nicole's, you should implement strategies that limit digital engagement. This may include turning off non-essential notifications and dedicating a quiet hour each evening to disconnect from all digital devices. This will allow your mind to relax and prepare for sleep. Instead of succumbing to the urge to scroll through your phone or tablet, consider engaging in calming activities such as reading or relaxation exercises, which contribute to an environment conducive to rest. Improving sleep quality necessitates deliberate efforts to create a sleep-friendly environment and routine. Transforming your bedroom into a sanctuary devoid of electronic distractions and adopting practices that promote a regular sleep schedule and calming bedtime routine can be instrumental. Incorporating activities like gentle stretching, meditation, or listening to soothing music as part of your nightly routine signals to your body that it's time to rest. Nicole's narrative serves as a reminder of the importance of moderating your digital habits to support your mental health and sleep, embodying the essence of seeking peace in a noisy and chaotic digital world. The Third Reset – Harmonizing Your Mind, Body, and Diet the third reset has been shown to reverse the negative effects of chronic stress. Dr. Narakar calls it, sink your brain and your body. Based on the scientific principle of the mind-body connection, this concept illustrates the profound interplay between your mental states and physical responses. It's a cornerstone for managing stress. Experiencing a racing heart before an important meeting or butterflies in your stomach when giddy over a new love interest, are examples of this connection at work. Understanding and intentionally engaging with this connection can be transformative in combating stress and burnout. To tap into the mind-body connection, it's essential to become more aware of the signals your brain and body exchange. The stop, breathe, be technique is a practical tool for this, it involves first selecting a routine activity. Before you begin, stop to take a conscious breath and ground yourself in the present moment by simply being with it. This method doesn't require extra time or a break from your daily tasks, but offers a quick way to recalibrate and refocus, using everyday actions as triggers to restore balance and reduce stress. Integrating movement into your daily life also plays a key role in managing stress. A 20-minute walk can serve as a form of moving meditation, reconnecting you with your body and the surrounding environment. This activity not only promotes physical health, but also supports mental well-being by offering a break from mental chatter and introducing a sense of calm and clarity. The connection between your gut and brain highlights how diet influences your stress levels. Your gut houses a vast ecosystem of bacteria that communicate with your brain, affecting your mood and stress response. Adopting a diet that supports a healthy gut microbiome, such as the Mediterranean diet, can enhance this communication. This diet, rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and fermented foods, can improve both physical and mental health, by making small, manageable changes to incorporate more of these foods into your meals, you can strengthen your gut-brain connection, contributing to a more balanced and stress-resilient state. Embracing these strategies, mindful pauses, movement, and a balanced diet, facilitates stress management and builds resilience, paving the way for a more harmonious, fulfilling life. The Fourth Reset Creating time to breathe amid the chaos of modern life. Do you feel like you're constantly playing catch-up in a high-pressure world? Then Holly's story might resonate with you. She felt overwhelmed, unable to keep up with the relentless pace of technological advancements in her field. It's a classic scenario of burnout, 
where the race against time leaves little room to breathe. The fourth reset, come up for air, can help us here. It focuses on giving your brain a break to boost productivity, not diminish it. By embracing what's called the Goldilocks principle, Holly learned that the right amount of stress could actually improve her performance. She found that taking strategic breaks and reducing her workload helped her regain her productivity and sanity. Consider implementing short, intentional breaks throughout your day. Simple actions like stretching, walking, or deep breathing can recalibrate stress levels. Monotasking or focusing on one task at a time rather than multitasking, will also significantly increase your focus and problem-solving skills. Time-blocking methods like the Pomodoro Technique, which involves working in time blocks with short breaks, can also enhance your concentration. If you work from home or you're struggling to separate your work and personal life, try integrating a fake commute into your day. This ritual, or any other personal ritual, can mentally transition you in and out of work mode, helping to separate your personal and professional spaces. Lastly, practicing sticky feet encourages you to anchor yourself in the present, counteracting the drift of thoughts and worries. This technique is particularly useful for individuals in constant motion or feeling mentally adrift. Concentrating on the sensation of your feet firmly on the ground can refocus your attention to the here and now, reducing anxiety and enhancing mindfulness. Navigating from burnout to productivity involves embracing breaks, monotasking, establishing work-life boundaries, and staying present in the moment. These strategies offer a roadmap for thriving amidst the challenges of modern work and life, allowing you to find more balance. The Fifth Reset Embracing Transformation to Reveal a Better You Do you sometimes feel like your own worst enemy during times of stress? Robin, an entrepreneur juggling a new business and a newborn baby, found herself overwhelmed by her competing roles. One morning, a minor mishap, a tiny coffee stain on her blouse, spiraled her into self-criticism and doubt, a clear sign of how stress amplified her inner critic. To counteract this, we can call on the power of the fifth reset. Bring your best self forward. This reset improves our self-awareness and resilience. Shifting from self-criticism to self-compassion requires you to recognize and silence your inner critic, which often becomes particularly vocal during stressful periods. An effective strategy for this transformation involves cultivating gratitude. Each night, take a brief moment to reflect on and write down five aspects of your day for which you feel thankful. This practice shifts focus from what is lacking to what is abundant in your life, quieting your inner critic and fostering a more positive outlook. For a deeper exploration of your emotions, try expressive writing. Set aside uninterrupted time to write about your deepest thoughts and emotions on significant issues in your life. This technique has been shown to reduce stress and improve mental health. Beyond these practices, embrace the concept of living a lifetime in a day. Integrate elements of childhood joy, productive work, vacation relaxation, community connection, solitude reflection, and retirement contemplation into each day. This holistic approach will enrich your daily experience, helping you to cherish each moment and bring your best self to the forefront. Finally, try penning a love letter to yourself that encapsulates your journey of transformation. Celebrate your strengths, acknowledge your struggles, and affirm your worth. This letter serves as a visual cue of self-love and your goals and a daily reminder of your resilience and capacity for growth. In embracing each of the five resets, You'll not just manage your stress, you'll transform your relationship with it. You'll discover that you have the power to be both a masterpiece and a work in progress, ready to face a world with confidence and grace. 
Thank <laughs> you.